Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lovely little box and it's a fold open box, although I've got it tied up with string. And it's made, well, the DSP is mine. It's hand stamped. I've used the beautiful Forever Blossoms, which is carrying over, hurrah. And I've stamped this one, Blackberry Bliss, onto Blushing Bride and then watercolored it with my Wink Costella. And I'm gonna do a complete lane swerve and I'm gonna go different colors. I don't know what they're gonna be like, nor does Sorrel, who's about to walk, yes, here she comes. <laughs> and I've gone with Purple Posy. She's staring at me, she thinks I'm wonderful. Purple Posy cardstock. And I'm gonna go with gorgeous grape ink. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I hope really well. So I'm gonna take that one and a nice big block and I'm going to randomly stamp, assist, assisted by Kitten. She's literally stepping between my arms. And I'm just gonna go all over. Oh, that is very pretty. That's going to be gorgeous when I bring Wink Estella in. What do you think, Sorrel? She is gonna parade around and around and around my desk. No, on the windowsill now. And <laughs> through my blinds, of course. So random stamping is exactly what it says on the tin. It's random. <laughs> She's got under the blinds. So yeah, you just literally stamp anywhere, fill in the gaps. There's no rules to it whatsoever. It's, you know, you stamp where you want to go. And I love it. I love that everyone is different. And that it's very pretty and you can choose any colours you like. So this is, as I said, gorgeous grape on purple posy. And I'm just going to zoom in on a section so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my Winker Stella. <clears throat> Got my Wink Estella and I'm just moving the colours around a little bit so you I don't know how well you're seeing it but it just gives a little different look let me tip that and hope you can see it so I'm going to zoom back out again and just chatter away and my neighbour is out in the front of his house his cars all of his cars are spotless and now his drive is. I had to pause filming for about half an hour because he decided to get a leaf blower out. But you know, <laughs> that's okay. So what this will do, so this is Wink of Stella. So it's moving the gorgeous great ink around and it will dry down and leave this wonderful shimmery glittery look. And I made this probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, I've had to pick my moments for filming. Apparently today was, it started as a good day filming and then not so good. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's beautiful. The glitter is shimmering. I think you can see it on this one reasonably well, but it's very pretty. Sorrel is, she's the other side of the blinds staring at me. She's going, who are you talking to? Why aren't you talking to me? So I'm trying to think where we are in the month. We are, oh, should be, in theory, 18th of May. So pre-order for demonstrators has started, which means we can shop from a selection of items that are gonna come into the new annual catalogue. And that means new demonstrators who are joining my team can also do that. You can get hold of stuff early. So if that is you and you'd like to join my team, you perhaps want to have a discount. You might want to consider starting a business and you are crafty already and you have connected craft friends. Now could be a good time to do it. I have lots of May anniversaries in my team this month. So I know that May is a very popular time for people to join because you're like me and you can't wait. You want the new stuff. So, yeah, I think I've got um, 
Oh, probably about a dozen anniversaries just in my direct team this month. Being a demonstrator is a great thing. You get to craft with beautiful project, products and you do it at a discount because obviously we buy we buy stuff for ourselves at a discount. You can make it a business. I've made mine a business. This is what I do full time. And do you know what? In such challenging times, I'm very glad I work in an online industry because although it's been difficult um, trying to work around the children being at home, I'm very pleased that they are safe at home. We're not stuck at home. We're safe at home. And I've been able to carry on. So, yes, it's been a challenge. There have been occasions when I've been filming in the middle of the night. I spooked myself the other night when I'd finished filming at about three o'clock in the morning. Went downstairs to get a drink and apparently all of the local wildlife congregate in my garden at night. Didn't know that. So well, there were frocks and foxes crying and um, the local feral cats. I'm not running out. This is a reasonably new one, but it's just it's drying up a little bit. Um, or maybe I am running out. No, it shouldn't be. Um, yes, yeah, so I spooked myself, so no more midnight filming. <laughs> but yes, I get I've I've been able to, to carry on, um, and I love what I do, and that it takes me around the country, around Europe, around the world, and I get to craft for a job. I get to create and share stuff and inspire other people to perhaps have a play with some ink and some paper who might not have perhaps thought they could and I believe everybody can be creative I think a lot of people go I'm not creative because they didn't knit or sew or draw or do art as a child but I didn't do any of those and I still can't do any of those things I still can't knit or sew or draw but I like to think I'm reasonably creative and you could too. So, I think... Oh, no, I've missed a few. I was going to say, I think I've got them all, but straight away I missed... I spotted some. So I think I've got them all now. And hopefully you can see that there is a colour change. And that's lovely. Did I tell you the size of the cardstock? Probably not. 8 by 11 inches, 20 and a half by 28 centimetres. So we're all done with this part now. So my wink of Stella's away. And now I'm going to score and build the box. So on the long side, score it at one and a half, four and three quarters, six and a quarter, and nine and a half inches, which in metric is four, twelve, sixteen, and twenty-four. And then on the short side, score it at one and a half and six and a half inches, which is forty-four and sixteen and a half centimeters. So the finished sides of the box one and a half by three and a quarter by five which is four by eight by twelve and a half so a pretty good size box and fold and burnish my score lines So you can see the shape now. So I've got six little squares, three at the top and three at the bottom. I'm going to keep the rectangle part straight. So cut straight up the rectangle score line and, line and wedge into the square. Okay, so I've wedged both sides there. And I'm going to do that on all six all the way round. six are done so I've wedged into the squares on all six so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put um, tear and tape here it is on all six of those uh, 
and just keep going. And peel off the backing off them all. If you can. And oh, I can't get hold of it. You know what they say, more haste less speed. Right, so I'm going to fold all of these around. I don't have a favourite bit that's the top and bottom, but I quite like that that's impactful on colour, but I also like that one, so I'm going to make this my top. So that's the top, and I'm going to fold those ones in to the bottom. Oh, yes, Sorrel. shouting outside the boys bedroom doors okay so that's the box done so what I've got is some linen thread here and I want quite a lot of length because I'm going to go round all sides and I want three strands on it this is probably way too much but oh assistant here <sighs> probably far too much but Better have to, to have too much than to have not enough. Oh, can't get hold of the final end. There we go. <laughs> do you think I need help with this? I probably do. To be fair, it's a it's a good time to bow. Okay. Do you know what? It's bad enough trying to hold on to one strand of ribbon, let alone three. <laughs> three. So. There we go. Reasonably equal lengths. And then. Oh. <laughs> Assistant kitten. So just neat, neaten those off. And get it positioned better. And that, I don't know what she's playing. Oh, she's playing with the, the linen thread now. That is my hand stamped box. Lovely. I think probably I can see this in real life better, but the colours, essentially I've got three colours going on here. Oh, actually I fetch a bit that way, you can see it. But it's just lovely. I think it's really nice. And she has got the whole spool of ribbon, of twine. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining. Me, even. <laughs> I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.